It's almost impossible to estimate the population of a wild animal, but scientists have done their best. By recording how many animals are in a certain area, you can get an idea as to how many there are on this planet. You can map out their viable habitats, and by recording an animal's presence in certain areas, you start to get an idea of their global population. Because of the state of our planet in the modern day, a lot of my videos contain animals that are critically endangered. It's quite depressing going through these animals' stories, so instead today I will be going through animals with very large populations. I will be focusing on animals that are in the order Carnivora, and the members of this order are usually referred to as Carnivorans. Not all Carnivorans are carnivores, as a large number of Carnivorans are omnivorous, and some almost entirely feed on plants. Carnivora is the fifth largest order of mammals, and there are around 279 species in this order. It includes animals such as cats, bears, dogs and hyenas, to semi-aquatic and aquatic creatures such as otters and pinnipeds. I will be going through five carnivorans with the largest wild population, but I will not be including domesticated animals. These animals of course hold the top spots, with cats and dogs having populations in the hundreds of millions. But without further ado, we can head over to North America, as our first species is the American black bear. The black bear is a medium-sized bear endemic to North America, and it's the continent's smallest and most widely distributed bear. In some cases, it's even preyed upon by other North American bear species, and the black bear is mostly omnivorous. Its diet varies greatly depending on location and season, and it tends to prefer forested areas. American black bears are not very closely related to brown bears or polar bears, and some of their closest relatives are the Asian black bears. They are more closely related to each other than the other modern species of bear, and the sun bear is also thought to be another close relative. As this bear is found over such a large area, it does have quite a few subspecies and not all of these subspecies are black. Some of these bears are brown, and one black bear subspecies is often cream coloured. These bears only really socialise during the mating season, and females give birth to around two to three cubs. These cubs and their mothers are very good at climbing trees, and this does offer them some protection. Black bears are less aggressive than other North American bear species, but this doesn't mean that they're safe to be around. Even though they are smaller, they can be very dangerous, but on average, less than one person per year is killed by a black bear. This is a very interesting fact when you take into account the black bear population, as there are thought to be around 750,000 to 900,000 in the wild. This is thought to be twice the population of all other bears combined, but it's still only fit for number 5 on this list. For our next species, we will be heading over to the Pacific Ocean, as we have the Northern Fur Seal. The northern fur seal is the largest member of the fur seal subfamily, and it's the only living species in its genus. Like most fur seals, the northern fur seal has extreme sexual dimorphism, with the males being 30-40% to longer and more than 4.5 times heavier than the females. These seals are known for having small heads and relatively stocky bodies, and their hair is extremely dense. Northern fur seals are highly pelagic, and they're thought to be mostly solitary at sea. On land, they're known for being very aggressive, and this is especially the case during the breeding season. This species feeds on a wide variety of fish and squid, but one of their main sources of food is pollock. It's strange that this species has such a large wild population today, as they were ruthlessly hunted for the fur trade. This mostly happened during the 17th and 18th centuries, with an estimated 2.5 million seals killed from 1786 to 1867. The fur trade led to a massive decline in seal populations worldwide, but luckily today it is not as big of a problem. If these seals weren't hunted so ruthlessly they would have a much larger population today, but they are estimated to have a population of around 800,000 to 1.1 million. This species is the first of many pinnipeds on this list, and it slots in at number 4. For our next species we can head to both Africa and Australia, as we have the brown fur seal. This fur seal goes by quite a few names and it has two distinct populations. It's known as the Cape fur seal, the South African fur seal and the Australian fur seal, and it can be found in both areas. 
The brown fur seal is among the largest and most robust of the fur seals, and they do live a very similar life to the northern fur seal but on the other side of the planet. These creatures are often referred to as the dogs of the ocean, and this is mostly due down to their curious and playful manner. On land they are famously awkward and clumsy, but in the water they need to be swift to avoid predators. They feed on a wide variety of prey but their prey depends on where they are found, as the marine life in Australia can be very different to that of South Africa. Even though they are threatened by marine debris and industry today, the brown fur seal is thought to have a population of around 1.5 to 2 million. This means that they have the largest population of any fur seal and they're fit for number 3 on this list. For our next species we will be heading to Antarctica as we have the crab eater seal. This seal's name is very confusing as you're led to believe that it mostly eats crabs. This is not the case because most crabs in its area are found in very deep water and instead it's a specialist predator mostly feeding on krill. This krill makes up around 90% of their diet and they have specialised teeth that help them to filter them from the water. One of the reasons why they have such a large population is because krill are so successful as the Antarctic krill is the single species with the greatest biomass on this planet. The crab eater seals also have to look out for predators as they're a target for leopard seals and orcas. These creatures are quite substantial animals as they have an average length of around 2.3 meters and an average weight of around 200 kilograms. This means that they're not the easiest prey item to take down and many leopard seals struggle to kill adults. As there aren't many people living in Antarctica and because Antarctica is so large, it's extremely hard to estimate how many crab eater seals there are, but we do know that there are millions of them. Some estimates go as high as 75 million, but this is most likely an overestimate. A more realistic estimate is around 7 to 15 million, but we'll never really know as nobody wants to count that many seals. Depending on which estimate you believe that puts them at number 1 or 2 on this list, as our next creature has a very similar sized population. For our final species we can head to the North Atlantic and Arctic Ocean, as we have the harp seal. The harp seal is also known as the saddleback seal or the Greenland seal, and it's known for its unique coloration. Their young are very cute, white and puffy, and their mothers devote their lives to raising them. The harp seal is the only species in its genus, but it was originally placed in a genus with the spotted seal and the common seal. It is strange that this species has such a large population, as they usually only give birth to one pup a year. This just shows us that harp seals are very good mothers and they do all that they can to raise their young. Just like the crab eater seal their population estimates vary greatly, but it's believed that they have a population of around 7 million to 10 million individuals. It's hard to tell the true population of both of these creatures, but we do know that there are a lot of them. If you want me to do this video with other animal groups then let me know down in the comments below. But thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed. If you liked it, please leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like these. But until next time, goodbye.